Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to fix a slipping treadmill belt. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. I'll be going over three simple things that you can do to hopefully fix your treadmill belt that is slipping. So let's say you're walking on the treadmill or running on the treadmill and your belt is slipping, right? Um, there are a few simple things that you can do to fix this problem. It's a common problem. It usually happens over time, but there are a few adjustments uh, that you can make and things that you can look into to hopefully fix the problem. Okay, now this treadmill right now is not slipping. It's in pretty good shape. Unfortunately, the motor is no longer working. So the treadmill, uh, it's been fixed many times, but my parents are getting rid of it. So I'm here to help my dad carry it outside. But in the meantime, I wanted to do some videos with it. If your treadmill, if you're using your treadmill, and all of a sudden you're walking but the belt is slipping that is when you need to look into these things so the first solution is essentially to tighten the belt okay now if you go to the back of the treadmill belt there are likely going to be these two little holes with an allen key with an allen bolt inside and essentially you can turn that allen bolt to loosen or tighten the belt on that side so you can see right here if i take this and i turn it clockwise i'm going to turn it, turn it clockwise let's get the the allen key in there where i get a little bit more leverage okay if i take this and i turn it clockwise i'll show you what's going to happen look at that uh, watch what happens with the belt when i turn it clockwise it's actually pulling the tensioner back which is tightening the belt so if you want to tighten the belt and keep it still even then you want to tighten both sides of the tensioners equally so if i did half a turn on this one clockwise i would do half a turn on this one clockwise as well that would bring the belt back a little bit and then what you're going to do is you're going to see if essentially that stops the slipping problem you want to try one method at a time right you don't want to do all three and then all of a sudden you don't know which one worked because then you don't know what the problem was so tighten the belt ever so slightly until it's tight enough and see if that fixes the problem how do you know if your belt is too loose well essentially if you can't reach halfway underneath the belt obviously make sure your treadmill is off make sure your treadmill is unplugged right and if you can if you can reach about halfway then you know um that that your your belt is tight enough if you can't reach halfway it's probably a little bit too tight if you can reach more than halfway if you can get more than just you know your hand under there like that then it's probably a little bit too loose so adjust accordingly the second thing that you can do is lubricate the treadmill belt which is really easy to do. I've done a separate video on that. So keep your eyes peeled for that video. Um, but essentially, by lubricating the treadmill belt, you are reducing the friction between the belt and the platform. If there's too much friction between the belt and the platform, you might get a slipping belt, okay? So that's the second thing you can do. And the third thing, if you've done those two things and it's still slipping, then you want to look into a specific component that is not working properly. So maybe your treadmill is like this, where you have the actual treadmill belt, and then you have other pieces before the actual platform. Maybe one of these is, is not functional functioning properly maybe it's ripped maybe it's torn maybe it's loose right or maybe something is going on with the internals of the treadmill and when you're looking at the drive motor and stuff like that that's when you really have to consider calling a professional or looking up a specific video for the thing that you're considering working on i can't go over uh, those things within the scope of this video those are beyond the scope of this video so you want to look into those specific things separately but that's it that is essentially how to fix a slipping treadmill belt a full tutorial i've gone over three specific things that you can do slash look into to hopefully fix a problem if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching